Hello! Hey Jane from Goldbriggers here again with a video walkthrough review kind of guide-ish amalgamation thing. We're farming together. Got this um, two or three weeks ago. I guess it was two weeks ago maybe. And I've been playing by myself because this isn't really Garo's type of game. He, he's okay with farming. Just mostly in a survival setting and obviously uh, this isn't survival. You don't need to farm if you're gonna make it here. I mean, you wouldn't have any money or whatever, but you, your character's not gonna die. They're just gonna be really sad. But anyway, that's besides the point. This is a fun little game and it is very grindy. So beware if you do not like grindage, this may not be for you. But it is a very chill experience for the most part. There's all sorts of plants, trees, animals, and housing. And this is an older video. I've had it for a while. I wanted to, to kind of wait and see what there would be in this game before I put, posted it. And I will post a video showing everything that I'll have finished uh, here in a couple weeks or so. Right now, my farm is a little bit pitiful. My level here is just 22 personally and the farm level is 25. It's di it differs. Your personal level affects the types of clothes and tractors and pets and pet accessories that you unlock, which there are a pretty decent amount of options. Right now, I think I'm wearing some sort of Snow White looking dress outfit. Pretty cute. There's overalls. Eventually, I think there is a chef's attire. And your farm level obviously reflects everything else. What animals you unlock, trees, vegetation, housing, decoration, all of that. And like I said, right now, my farm is a little meager. I'm building a tree house currently. Not finished. Though the buildings come in four stages and they cost, I think, about 25 of the metals, and that is the little pink emblem that I thought forever was a ribbon until, you know, I read because you should probably read things. I, I don't sometimes. It's, it's silly, but I just assume. Anyway, there's the treehouse about to go on to the next level and look at that. It's pretty cool to watch the things get built and I'm about to, uh, I think upgrade my stone house too. And these things are like the TARDIS. They are bigger on the inside. So don't get freaked out when you see these tiny little buildings and think, how am I going to live in here? It's it's pretty spacious. The treehouse has one really long room and then two equally sized rooms. Kind of smallish. And the stone house here, I think it will eventually have... Um, four rooms and there are I think two other houses after this a nice log cabin farmhouse kind of deal and a really lovely modern house that has a pool outside which is huge by the way and I'm still trying to decorate everything mostly saving up all of my currencies which, by the way, save as much as you can, especially the medals and tickets, but mostly the medals. I had the hardest freaking time trying to get medals. Another tidbit, it helps to get gas. <laughs> as soon as you're able, you, I think it costs two medals, buy the little gas tank, it, it'll speed things up tremendously. And then as soon as you're able to get the big gas, uh, station get it you will not regret it because I waited forever and it kind of made the game a little bit annoying I wanted to 
stab something a little bit, but um, it, it's okay. I have the gas st uh, station now, and oh my god, that thing fills up so quick. And I think it's probably four times as much gas, maybe five-ish. And strategy-wise for unlocking all of the farm area, I kind of kept unlocking as soon as I had the... I think these are gems or diamonds, whatever. Whatever the little blue crystal-y looking thing is in currency up there in the uh, top right. Uh, you could do that. I, I don't know. It, it worked okay. I've got a pretty big farm. I don't have all of it unlocked yet. You don't necessarily need it all unlocked. It's just the main thing is, is don't plant more than you can pick up. Harvest, that's the word. <laughs> Don't pick up or plant more than you can harvest because you'll run out of money really quick and you'll run out of gas really quick and this game will get really annoying and you probably won't want to play anymore. So kind of thinking maybe I should make a top 10 things I wish I'd have known. That might help new players out there. I may, I may do that. But, this is the most of the farm I've got. Uh, I currently have cotton, which is pretty good, because not only do you get money from harvesting it, you also get, I think it's just yarn or fabric, it looks like a little ball of yarn when you harvest it. And you can sell that. Uh, the main money makers would be things that you can plant, and it takes less money, more profit obviously, and, and those take maybe about a day or two, I've noticed, the ones that uh, bring you the most money. The grapes are pretty good, they take about six hours to grow around that time roughly. Um, trees are nice because, depending on the tree, like apple trees, you can harvest those I think every season other trees it's like every other season or it, it so shows you in the menu and there are a lot of adorable little buildings and places where you can sell your goods there's fishing um, plenty of adorable little animals and this is my meager little chicken and duck farm which grew exponentially <laughs> I think I've got um, over a hundred of those squawking, clucking little critters now. <laughs> and man, make sure you do not plant or er, place any sort of noisy making animal, which is all of them, where you're gonna be majority of your time. Like if you're gonna have like a nice little house area and you're gonna decorate there and make it lovely, cause good god those animals are gonna drive you crazy. You, you think, oh, their little noises are so cute and precious until like a few hours down the road and you're like, I'm craving some chicken. Maybe a couple of steaks. Come here, Betsy. So yeah, don't place animals where you're going to stay. Especially if you've got a huge am amount of them. Because they won't shut up. And yeah, that'll drive you nuts. At least it did me. It may not do that for everyone, but it's just my personal experience. Also for decorations, there are these cute little prefab houses. So you could feasibly take just swaths of land and turn it into tiny little towns, which is what I'm gonna do eventually. I'll just keep farming and getting more and more money. <laughs> I'm like, one day this is going to be one thriving community and it's going to be lovely and no one's going to come here <laughs> because I farm alone. Despite the name, <laughs> I farm alone. It's okay. I, I I really do enjoy it. I sound like I'm nitpicking, but it, it's a lot of fun. I'm having a lot more fun, like I said now, because of the uh, gas tank. And 
because I have every one of the houses built now, not obviously not in this video, it is much easier to farm all of the currencies. Because once you get your house built, there is a piano, an oven, and an art easel that you can potentially buy and build and place in your house that gives you the ability to farm the diamonds and tickets and sometimes it costs a lot though the metals and there's I think I had it over there in the main like merchants area uh, I think it's a gift shop you can exchange gold nuggets which you will get naturally if you farm yep there it is the big oh wait that's not the I'm... god I suck at this sometimes <laughs> sorry the gift shop allows you to pay money uh, I think it was 250,000 by the numbers but I think that was it in exchange for one metal and the pawn shop, which I placed right next to the gift shop, allows you to exchange the gold nuggets for a whole manner of things. There's vegetables, cheeses, all of the uh, farmable goods, uh, two tickets, I think you can get two tickets for a gold nugget, and you can also exchange your gold nuggets, ten of them for the metals, which I had to do for a while there while I was trying to unlock all those buildings. But I wouldn't exchange them for just the meager things that you will eventually get on your farm. You'll know what they are, they're just easy. Anything harvestable. Mostly just tickets and metals is uh, what I did. I didn't do it for the diamonds because if you do the uh, quests, you can find those when you hit your start menu, I've got one up here now, which is the Ace of Trades. If you do your quests, you'll get tickets, you'll get diamonds, I think, I think you'll get diamonds, I hope I'm not wrong on that, I'll look back on it eventually, and, or after this, and I'll put it in the video, but yeah. There are also plants that grant you diamonds. They are the uh, peppercorn plants. There are three different varieties of them. The, uh, you start with black, then you get white, and then you get pink at the final level, which is around 45-ish. Yeah, I've made it that far now. Wow, that's a lot of time. And they cost a lot. And you don't get any money whenever you harvest them because you know you're exchanging your money for the diamonds and I get it and by the way look at that stable it's so cute you can actually go in there your animals can't but that's okay they don't really want to I guess and don't overdo it with the animals unless it's something you need for a quest. The white chickens, can't remember the actual name of it, of them. They're pretty good if you just make sure you keep them fed. They will give you eggs. Eggs give you diamonds. And all of the, um, like this thing, the oven, exchange, um, what is it? Oh my god. Wheat? Yes. Yeah. Exchange wheat for diamonds things like that. The things you gotta buy with diamonds will give you diamonds in return whenever you uh, harvest things and like so many flowers or so many nuts or vegetables, fruit, it'll give you whatever amount of diamonds that they're worth. And you all, you will start out with a smaller version just like a, a um, something that gives you like that thing right there the vegetable stand. It'll give you, was it 10 diamonds maybe for so many vegetables? Well, gives you free money. Uh, there's a flower stand, and a fruit stand, a mushroom stand. There is a second level to everything like this. And it is much bigger. So feasibly, you could build like a small little outcropping, cute little like farmer's market off on one side of the map. 
then maybe in the middle or off on the other side of the map you can have a huge like big area with more houses and the huge shopping district which is kind of what I'm planning by the way still working on it you can put your bus stop there there are uh, these things that cost medals I think points of interest eventually that you can get that will take you from one side of the map to the other I don't have those because I'm a cheapskate who saves everything after fin just having to fight this game for a while to get medals. Yeah. <laughs> and I do suggest as soon as you're able, like, like a high enough level, pineapples, buy as many as you can and plant them. But you have to have a lot of money, so save your money, buy pineapples. And they have a very good return. I think you can only plant them in summer and it takes about 16 hours for them to grow so you could just plant like a whole field of them, leave them alone for a while, go about your farming pleasures of maybe planting smaller crops like a whole bunch of carrots that take like 20 minutes to uh, come to fruition. And watering things when the little watering can tells you to decreases the amount of time that it's going to take for you to harvest them. I mean, could be obvious, but yeah, I thought I'd let you know. These uh, cypress trees are pretty cool, very decorative, and they produce nuts. I don't know what kind of nut, but somebody's eating them. Apple trees. Uh, the, the game, I think, gives you a bunch of apple trees and some pears. Maybe a couple of oranges when you start out. And when you start the game, you only get one little map. And I probably should have recorded it, or started this recording then. But I didn't think about it. And I'm very sorry. Anyway. Grapes. I've had a, a whole field of grapes now. They start out as green grapes. Then you get, um, I think it may be purple. I can't remember. I, I only played the last stage of them now, which is the red grapes. And you turn them into wine at this cute winery. I mean, it's pretty adorable. Gives you diamonds, too. No, um, I'm sorry, they weren't purple, they're blue. Duh. I had to pay attention. And this game has some adorable little decorations, like the um, the walkways are cute. The trees are adorable. The barns are cute, and there's also a big barn. And the barns increase your storage. There are grain silos, which produce grain magically somehow. You don't actually have to put things in there, which yeah, logic dictates you would, but they produce it. I'm not going to argue. Magic grain producers. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> and there was some of those black peppercorns, which you'll sell the um, pepper in that little uh, amazing spice stand, which when you hit level 50, which I just did today, you'll get this little... Oh, so pretty, such a, such a pretty, pretty, uh, Spice Bazaar. I loved it. I, I kind of ground out forever today just so I could see what that looked like. Because when you don't have things unlocked, they're just black and you can see the outline and you're left wondering, like, what are you? But I finally got it. I think I have every one of the major decorations unlocked now, which... Huzzah for me. There's those magical green colors. And I think I have every walkway unlocked, which at the the last one is a gold freaking stone walkway. I mean, who's gonna. <laughs> who wants a gold stone walkway? I mean, come on. I'm sure someone does, but it was just. It seemed like a waste of material. I think it costs. Um, metal 
or a metal per walkway, if I remember correctly. I don't know. <laughs> it seemed a little much. Uh, there are palm trees. Uh, different kinds of, all kinds of different walkways and roads. And now that I've got just about everything unlocked, I think I only have like three vegetables left to unlock. And two of them you gotta get to level 60 and 70 and that's gonna be a while because I don't think I can farm that fast. <laughs> because I've also got a lot of other games that we both have been playing. We just recently got into Sea of Thieves. Which was so much fun. Well, at least until like the children showed up after school and decided to flood the game and start shooting people when they go AFK. <clears throat> I'm not mad. No I'm mad. Not mad. I digress. We have <laughs> other games that we can play with, and um, and Sims 4 is free for people with gold on Xbox uh, Live right now, and I have been getting balls deep into that. I'm going to start building some houses, because I love The Sims. Oh, I really do. Uh, they gave me The Sims 2 Ultimate Edition a few years back for having an Origin Online account, and wow, what a life sucker that was. Oh. Love it. It is still the best Sims, in my personal opinion. And it feels like they have cut back a lot of the features and then tried to resell them to you like EA seems to do. But, yeah, I still have it. And maybe eventually I can play it again and record it. Hopefully. We'll see if I can get back into that. I don't know yet. It's not too dated either, I don't think. But, fourth. Uh, eight bucks for the base version also, because it's on sale. If you do end up liking it after the trial. Eight bucks ain't too bad. I mean, it's worth eight dollars. That's like a dollar an hour, at least. And I mean, I've already gotten maybe four hours into it after getting it downloaded today. It's free until the weekend, or like this whole weekend. Maybe till su Sunday. So it, that gives you a good time to uh, get acclimated to the lack of old content and to uh, just the whole game if you've never played a Sims before. I like some things about it that that weren't in the old ones that I'm aware of. I didn't actually play through. I had it, the base game that I got for Christmas. And I don't know why I never played it. Um, maybe I lost my account, password or something. I, who knows, that's been like forever ago. I think I was mostly upset that I didn't have all the extras and packs. They, obviously took from the base game and sold to you. What ifs? Anyway. I like how they kind of made the personalities a little simpler, yet at the same time I kind of hate that they took away um, the astrological signs. I really liked messing around with those. It made me... It, it, I don't know, I thought that was pretty cool to have, but they don't have it now. I do like that they don't uh, have the toddler stuff. I think you can still get pregnant or whatever in the base game, but I'm not 100% sure on that because I'm not going to try because I don't really care about kids in game. That's not my deal. What I usually do is cheese it anyway and give myself like all kinds of riches and build the most fanciful houses because well, that's what I do in games usually. I build a house and I keep on building like it's um, Rose Red. I'll forever hear hammers in my ears. And that's kind of what I'm doing now. I played it legit for a whole four <laughs> hours. 
<laughs> and uh, I don't like it. <laughs> it makes me go to work. And yeah, my character may have uh, mastered it and is like a manager of a tech firm or whatever. She's a tech guru, but she doesn't want to go to work all the time. She wants to stay home and eat pizza and play video games and write on her grand great American novel and paint and go on dates with whoever she wants and go to the nightclubs which also they cut out majority of the damn nightclubs uh, I didn't find a single restaurant which is was stupid uh, well, what else did they cut out well, there's only like a few places that you can go. I picked the map that had um, a gym and a library and a park and a nightclub. I think that was it. I think I'm, I've been spoiled by the old games. Of course, it could be that they didn't have some of those things to begin with in the second Sims. And I didn't realize it because I had the entire version from the start. But I'm not gonna pay EA like 20 bucks or 30 bucks or 40 whatevers for like pieces of the game that I want and get stuck with crap I don't want. Like I don't really care about vampires. I'm good. I don't want that with the other things that I do want. But it's cheaper to get this stuff. So it's like, can't you just like have a pick and choose? thing for me? Come on. Anyway, I've gotten way off topic. I'm talking about a completely different game here. Back to farm together. The super chill farming experience. The music in this game is really good. It's chill. And there's one song that sounds like the guy um uh, I think his name is Josh Woodward. He did all the music on this. You'll see when you open the game up. There's just like huge letters in cursive. Josh Woodward or Josh something. Wood something. Something. Anyway. The, there's like one song that sounds kind of like a remix of a more country chill office. <laughs> like the theme to the office. It sounds very similar to that sometimes. And I just get a little cracked up every time I hear it. And if I'm talking way too fast and going way too off topic and rambling, I'm so sorry. I'm having a little bit of a, a manic episode here these last few days. It's all good. I'm, I'm feeling fantastic. Having a great time. And not gonna think about the crash after that. It, it'll be all good. And so here is uh, some of the things that I have unlocked at this point. See, there's that lovely farmhouse, which at this point I'm trying to save my money for. There's that wonderful gas station that I wish I'd have bought to begin with. <sighs> yeah, I should have bought that instead of another house. <laughs> First world problems, am I right? By the gas station. Not the second house. You don't need two houses. Ha. Here's a lot of the decorations. Those willow trees look incredible. There's like a pottery bench so you can reenact ghosts. I mean, you really could because no one can really come up behind you if you're farming alone. It's just your imagination. Plenty of plants, and you can plant them at different times. There's wind turbines, which don't really do anything, but they look cool. They look like you're doing a green job. And the fruit stands look pretty adorable. But what doesn't in this game? And there is different weather effects. Like you can see the little snowflakes falling, but the whole ground can get covered in snow if it's snowing hard enough. And it's just white everywhere. And it's really pretty. Summer, you can go through heat waves and you'll see like 
rippling in the air, kind of how you'd see off of a hot surface, how it ripples up and it kind of waves the... Like an oasis. Yeah. There are lots of really beautiful flowers. You could have like a whole flower garden and make your money off of that. Have like an entire poppy field so you can like fight the opioid crisis on your own. Like here, just have the poppies at their rarest, or at their purest state and do the opium. <laughs> I mean, obviously it's head cannon, but kind of. I mean, it's the best kind, isn't it? <laughs> you can have just a pure animal farm, nothing but cows or nothing but chickens or horses or just orchards. You could have whole sections of map devoted to one thing. And the map is pretty vast. I can see why they needed the uh, points of interest to get to A to B sometimes. And the terrain is really cool. There's like ro um, higher up areas, kind of tiered. There's also lower areas. And they do get more expensive as you unlock them. And another thing I wish I'd have known beforehand when I started buying things for my house, which do take diamonds, ribbons mostly, see there's the map, is I wish that I would have saved, just kept the one tree house, lived out of there, only had the one stove easel and piano going. That way I could have just saved all of um, my everything and then bought the entire map. I'm closer to getting it now, but it's still not the whole thing. <laughs> Don't know why I'm clapping here. <laughs> it does have a lot of- <laughs> you see I'm laughing about it now. <laughs> it has a lot of different emotes. And there I am waving. And you'll have to set all of that before you enter your farm. I don't think there's a way to go back and set those while you're on your farm. I haven't found one yet. There's not like a vanity or anything like that. That would be cool though. That way I could fix my hair because I just tried this headband on and forgot to take it off. I didn't really like it so much. Now I have them like pigtails, which makes me happy because it's kind of what I wear a lot anyway, just braids. And there's a, a lot of different makeups and some hats, different clothes. You can make your dogs look like smaller little dogs. They have a more high-pitched bark or you can have them big freaking dogs rumble the earth and they bark at you. And they have cats. And that's all the ant and like pets that follow you around they have right now. I don't know if they'll add more or not. And they have different colors with little ID tags that you can put on them that are all different and you unlock more as you go. You unlock more paint jobs for your tractors. And in my next video, I'll show you all about that. I'll make it a much better presentation. This was mostly just a gameplay of not quite starting out, but maybe middle of the road. And they are currently having an event that's been going on for already a week, and I think there's about a week left of it for Valentine's Day. And yes, I did just say Valentine's Day. <laughs> long story short, I used to think that was how it was said and spelled and had no other knowledge of that until adulthood. It's sad, I know, but I think part of it was the autism and dyslexia. It compounded and... Anyway, Valentine's Day, they have... Uh, I think it's just a one crop that you can grow only in spring and it takes... Maybe it's 25 or 30 minutes to grow. Which if you water, you can cut that down on this one. And it's cotton candy. <laughs> yeah, cotton candy. It magically grows from the ground in this game. And when you harvest it, you don't get candy. 
You get yarn. <laughs> I don't know what logic they got in there, and but yeah, yarn, and it gives you diamonds too, by the way, when you harvest. So that's cool. Costs like 500 per cotton candy. You get, I think, one yarn, maybe one diamond for it. Maybe two diamonds. I can't remember because I quit doing that once I got the amount that I needed because I think you gotta grow 3,000 crops of cotton candy and if you're fast enough you can get two rounds in one spring takes some finagling but you can do it and uh, it's worth it you unlock some cute things and you unlock unicorns and they're so pretty they have pink hair and they're white, and they have like a heart tattooed on their butt, <laughs> and gold. They're adorable. And they produce yarn because of their hair, I guess. It's like magical strands of yarn. <laughs> yeah. I've been awake for a really long time, by the way. <laughs> um, and you have to harvest. 3,000 cotton candy and 160 unicorn unicorns to unlock everything on the list and I'm very close to doing so. I've still got quite a few unicorns to go because I didn't realize at the beginning that I was going to need so many unicorns. I thought they were going to produce a lot faster and I also didn't read well the instructions and the quests because I was just in such a rush to get that dang cotton candy to go that I was like, yeah, I got this, it'll be fun. There'll be plenty of unicorn here. No. Place down as many unicorns as you can, you're gonna need them. And, and that's just to unlock everything, which is a, uh, a cute bench with a heart-shaped flowery hedge. Is that what we call it? Flowery hedge? Behind it that you can sit in. Uh, I think they give you a, a new free pink pretty dress that's like this one I'm wearing on this one, but it's a different color scheme. One more pinks and purples, mostly pinks. Uh, there is like a silly headband with hearts that bob and dangle at the top of your head that, and it's a ponytail that you'll unlock uh, balloons uh, just unlock the purple balloons for getting all of the cotton candy harvested I don't think I'm missing anything I may be and another set of balloons that I don't know what color they are yet because I'm waiting on the unicorns and I'll make a video once I've gotten the unicorns all good to go Give you a walkthrough of what I got over the farm, show you all the things that you can unlock. But hurry up and try and get it all today. You've only got like a week left, and it's gonna take some doing, especially if it's only you farming. And I think that's about it. Yeah. So. I've taken up enough of your time and rambled in your ear, and I really appreciate you listening to me, everybody out there. You guys are fantastic. Thank you for sticking around here with us, and liking, subscribing, and all of your thumbses, and sweet comments, and helpful critiques. You guys are amazing, and I hope that you enjoyed this video, this gameplay video footage. Next round of this game that I record, I'll show you a lot more about all the things. This was, like I said, pretty much just showing you how you play. And if there's anything that I missed that you'd like to know, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer your questions if Google doesn't get to you first. And I'll try to also show you all of the outfits and the pet options. I don't think I have them all online, but they're not completely blocked out, so you can get an idea of what they are. 
hope you enjoyed this. Let me know. I hope you all have a good day. Bye!